1969, when Neil Armstrong took that legendary small step onto the surface of the moon, he redefined the course of humanity. It wasn't just a victory for America. It was a giant leap for all of humankind. But let's ask the big question. Why, with all the technological advancements we have today, haven't we returned to the moon in over 50 years? And that, naturally, has led to plenty of speculation. What if the moon landing never actually happened? That what was being shown was not real. The moon? Yeah, it's fake. Some conspiracy theorists point to the 1978 movie Capricorn One, which depicted NASA faking a Mars landing on a soundstage as a metaphor that adds fuel to this theory. But NASA has stood firm, explaining that the Apollo missions cost nearly $20 billion, an enormous amount, even by today's standards. Yet, despite their defense, NASA has admitted that key technical data and documents from the Apollo missions were lost over time, leading many to question the feasibility of replicating such a mission today. So what's actually going on? In the 1960s, the political landscape played a huge role. The U.S. was deeply invested in the Cold War, and beating the Soviets in space became a matter of national pride. The entire country was united in its goal, fueling NASA's relentless push toward the moon. Today, though, we're dealing with a very different political and economic climate. Partisan divisions, budget cuts, and competing national priorities mean that, despite advanced technology, a new manned moon mission has remained on the back burner. The U.S has announced a tentative goal to return to the moon by 2025, while China is ambitiously aiming for a manned mission by 2030. But why is it still so challenging to reach our lunar neighbor? Let's break down the science. Unlike satellites, which orbit only about 500 kilometers above Earth, the moon sits at a staggering 380,000 kilometers away, almost 1,000 times the distance. This massive difference means the mission is exponentially harder. And without an atmosphere on the moon to help slow down landings, achieving a safe descent demands the utmost precision. The tiniest miscalculation in velocity or trajectory could lead to disaster. What's more, if we're talking about sending humans to the moon, it's not just about the journey there and back. Astronauts would need constant support, oxygen, food, water, and protection from extreme temperatures and cosmic radiation. Without an atmosphere or magnetic field like Earth's, the moon is exposed to dangerous solar particles and cosmic rays, making it vital to develop a shielded environment for astronauts. Building a sustainable base on the moon is an unprecedented engineering and logistical challenge. Then there's the real question, who might pull it off first? In recent years, we've seen some surprising contenders. After two failed attempts, India's Chandrayaan-3 mission finally succeeded in 2023, becoming the first spacecraft to land on the unexplored South Pole of the Moon. This monumental achievement made India the fourth country to reach the Moon and the first to venture to its southern regions, where water ice is thought to exist beneath the surface, a critical resource for future missions. Meanwhile, Japan is making strides too, investing heavily in lunar exploration tech. After a failed mission in 2022, Japan is preparing for another lunar landing attempt with a soft lander, aiming for a precise touchdown. 
And while Japan's approach is more scientific, the United States is eyeing a larger goal, establishing a permanent lunar presence, possibly even a military base, to maintain a strategic foothold in space. China, on the other hand, is making rapid advancements of its own. The Chang'e missions have steadily pushed forward with Chang'e 4 achieving the first ever soft landing on the moon's far side. China's ambitions to send astronauts to the moon by 2030 align with their vision to lead in space exploration, potentially even establishing a lunar research station. Why is everyone so focused on the moon again? Well, the moon is not just a distant rock. It's a strategic launch pad for deeper space exploration. If we can establish a sustainable base on the moon, it opens the door to places like Mars and beyond. The challenges are massive. Landing on the moon requires extreme precision to navigate its low gravity environment. Soft landing technologies, high precision sensors, and complex control systems are necessary to ensure a smooth descent, as even a slight error could result in a crash. Plus, when astronauts land, they face unique risks, from cosmic radiation to temperature swings that range from 127 degrees Celsius in daylight to minus 173 degrees at night. But it's not just about the moon itself. It's about humanity's desire to expand our reach. This renewed interest in lunar exploration is fueling a modern day space race with nations worldwide from the United States to China to smaller space powers like India vying for a piece of the moon. What do you think? Will we witness humanity's return to the moon soon? And if so, which country will lead the way? Let us know in the comments below.